I hate it that good people are being punished and the garbage people are being rewarded. Wow, we truly are living in face-painted circus entertainer world. We live in a world where being a piece of garbage pays more than being a farmer in some cases, being a teacher or working landscape. Clout chasing is a hell of a drug. And these are just some of the comments that I have been reading recently from some of the most recent incidents of folks out there chasing internet fame and chasing the money that comes with it, theoretically, and ultimately finding out. And uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My studio is a little bit different today. So I feel like I've almost seen it all, but I'm also never really surprised by what I then uncover because of what I do and the people that I work with and ultimately knowing and learning the YouTube ecosystem. I'm going to call it an ecosystem, the YouTube society more than an algorithm, because really and truly we're now at a point where you're supposed to replace the word algorithm with audience. You're supposed to replace the word algorithm with people. And there's no question. Yeah, so there's no question about how small YouTube channels or even large YouTube channels, because I've seen this happening with channels with a few hundred to a thousand subscribers really and truly at least a thousand because that would be the minimum requirement to be monetized to receive ad revenue to over a million subscribers all getting caught, all getting busted. And when I say it's for chasing money, it's interesting because what a lot of YouTubers who jump into this don't understand and don't know and don't ever really fully realize is that YouTube as a content creator, as a monetized content creator, is no different than any other job for that matter. And not every job gets paid the same wage for what you do. And there's a variety of factors that are involved here. And honestly, I got to tell you, going down some of these routes that I see people ultimately winding up being demonetized, deleted, uh, restricted for days or weeks or months, um, or ultimately being completely deleted and terminated, channel being deleted. It's all for silly reasons that would have never ever produced sizable amounts of income for what was being done. And I think it's just happened again here recently. I don't know how long the terms are, but folks are getting their hands slapped for a variety of reasons. Now, one of these is for questionable content. Okay. Now I will say that I do have my YouTube studio pulled up here. And YouTube is actually introduced, uh, or if you have a YouTube, if you're a YouTube creator and you go into YouTube studio, you'll see where they share from Creator Insider, the latest updates. And this one is adult content updates. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but they just released that. And it's an update to adult content. But this also falls into the category of questionable content, which honestly, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it for a variety of reasons. Um, and really and truly, this is why we post on other platforms, period. Uh, but what I don't think a lot of people understand are the implications of their actions. And literally what you do online, what you do on YouTube, what you do on the internet, what you do on TikTok or Instagram or Reels or Facebook or wherever is legally binding. It is a physical documented proof of your actions, your words, uh, admissible in court. Okay. And this is why folks will say, and this is not financial advice, <laughs> but either way, um, what people also don't realize is the, the legality, uh, depending on your local, uh, your local ordinances, as well as the state, county and state laws, 
uh, whether you're in an incorporated part of town or not. Uh, the different states have different laws. And the expectation of privacy is a big one. It's a big one. And freedom of speech. So you have freedom of speech and expectation of privacy, which are more than likely going to be exploited and blown out of control, but are going to rele release a feeding frenzy by lawyers and attorneys who can literally just jump online and search up certain types of videos and find people breaking the law, not to necessarily press charges, but to file suit. They're going to get that money, especially if they know that you're a monetized YouTube content creator. Okay. Now, one of the things that I've seen growing in popularity, unfortunately, are not only these ridiculous types of content and videos being created, but now they're being live streamed in real time. And that's a big problem because I don't think that people truly understand the legality behind expectation of privacy in public. And that is the key word, expectation of privacy in public. Needless to say, at the end of the day, it will cost you so much more than however many views you could possibly get. It could cost you thousands, if not millions of dollars, depending on the judgment. It could cost you your channel. It could cost you your monetization because YouTube uh, expects creators to uphold a standard. Um, I'm trying to remember the exact terminology that they use, but essentially they applied this to SS Sniper Wolf for what she did to Jijajack uh, Jack Reacts, I think. I think that's his name. Jack Reacts or something. But either way, YouTube will apply certain restrictions and limitations and demonetization to your channel depending on what they come across on other social media platforms. It doesn't matter. Uh, depending on what they come across, in the news because YouTube ultimately is trying to provide a society, a ecosystem, a network of advertising and entertainment. And these two have to mesh and advertisers don't want to advertise on entertainment that is harmful or dangerous or providing the wrong information, misinformation, disinformation, or um, harassment. A variety of other things. We've seen this happen to Daily Wire. We've seen this happen to Matt Walsh. We've seen this happen to Russell Brand. We've seen this happen to SS Sniper Wolf. We've seen this happen to Kingdom Reacts. We've seen this happen to so many different channels. I've honestly lost count. I've lost track. And I can't say it's happened to me. And there's good reason for it. Um, granted, if there is a particular situation that would otherwise be deemed questionable. Let's just continue on with this questionable content theory here. Uh, those videos are edited for privacy. They're edited for anonymity. They're edited for uh, everything to make them not only like legal, but also ethical. Because some people don't want to be in your videos. And if they have a reasonable expectation of privacy, then you need to honor that. And if you don't, then they have the legal right to come after you for whatever damages, uh, maximum limit of damages that the legal system will allow. And that could be dependent upon when the, wh where the video was recorded, where they live, where you live, their lawyer, their attorney is going to go for the jugular. And it's not just, it's not just people. Okay businesses too. Now, actually, I put up a video months ago because Nintendo and I believe Minecraft as well, they were coming down hard on some gamers for leveraging their likeness and their name and their trademark and their copyright for their own personal financial gain. I actually know of another YouTuber, over a million subscribers, and he actually received a cease and desist from DC Comics for literally something most people probably never even noticed in his video, but they did. 
they noticed. You never know who's watching. They noticed and they knew how much it was worth because to be honest with you, the content that was being created at the time saw CPMs and RPMs that would literally make you do a double take. Okay. So, and that's the big, like, that's the thing. It's like the type of trash that's going on out here. That's getting folks thrown in jail, getting folks arrested, getting folks in legal hot water doesn't pay much at all. And it's not going to bring in sponsors and odds are it probably won't even entice viewers to sign up as members. So it's literally a waste of time. But like I said, it's not just the people, it's the businesses too. And these businesses are not only upping their security measures to prevent theft, but they're also trying their best to maintain a positive image, no different than YouTube in the eyes of advertisers. Uh, certain companies and, and, and businesses and, and manufacturers and vendors are not going to want to put their products on store shelves in, let's just say, Walmart, the biggest retailer there is, brick and mortar retailer there is, if they feel like their products are going to be shown and seen on certain videos in a certain light. Not to mention the certain customers that are in these stores that expect some level of privacy and um, don't want to be in your videos, which if it's a live stream, then kind of hard to keep them out of your video. You see what I'm saying? And I'm sorry I didn't know isn't a reasonable excuse to get you out of trouble. Uh, but the crazy part about it is, is that uh, even the news, the news is getting really, really bad. And not just the news that's being shared, because obviously everybody loves to hate, you know, uh, bad news trumps good news, you know, seven days a week, 24, 7, 365, twice on Sunday. Nobody wants to hear good news. Nobody. This platform literally is about, I'd say about five different things. And if you can fall into the category of one of those five, then you'll succeed. If you don't, you can still succeed. It's just going to look a little different. It's going to be a little different. It would, it takes a little bit more of a strategic approach. Um, but of those five, most of them aren't necessarily great things, basically, like that you would really want to brag about and tell people about that you do. But that's how it works because again, you have to replace algorithm with audience, algorithm with people, algorithm with, you know, uh, the folks out there clicking on these videos and chasing the trend or at least following the trend because the trend is created and presented and then, uh, virality takes over and everyone follows the trend. The viewers follow the trend because that's all they see. That's all anyone's ever talking about. The creators loose term here will then chase the trend to replicate and reproduce. And in certain instances go above and beyond and at great lengths to fabricate or break the law or do whatever it is that they deem necessary to get the clicks and views because they're also chasing not only a financial dollar amount, which looking at their content, I can tell you they're not making that much money. They really aren't not in comparison to what they could be making, but they're also chasing a like euphoric high that you get from views and engagement and reach and subscriber growth and everything that comes with uploading a video. Upload, recording a video is one thing. Uploading a video is something else. Publishing a video, game changer. And then a live stream, don't get me started. Um, but I will say that much like any other industry, any other career path, any other job, most people don't necessarily, they don't do their homework, they don't do their research. Reason being, You'd want to do that to know how to stay legal, but also you want to do it to know how to be as profitable as possible, how to earn the most as possible, how to get the greatest return on your investment. And they don't do that. 
nothing against it. More power to them. Press record, upload a video, maybe create a title and thumbnail, send it. But if you really actually sit back and analyze and research and talk to people who have been doing this longer and are more successful than you, then you will see that, wow, I got a video that got uh, 20,000 like uh, views. Let's just say it got 20,000 views. Great. Cool. And it made, let's just say it made mm, $75. Great. Um, okay. How about, uh, on the flip side, a video that got 10,000 views that made $300. See what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't know about that. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people are only after views and subscribers and clout and trend. And they don't even understand what they're doing in regard to making more money, having a successful channel and being considered, um, you know, people actually would want to share your content because it provides value. It provides information. It provides wholesome entertainment. Um, and instead, a lot of folks go out there and they spin their wheels. They spin their wheels until they get caught speeding. Okay. And I feel like 2024, not only are people going to hammer down on pressing charges, especially in public reasonable expectation of privacy. You might want to look that up. Recorded conversations without consent. That's a broad field there. You got to be careful with that one. Uh, and these live streams, once, once it's done, it's done. You can't get rid of it. It's there forever. I promise you. There are tools on the internet to find everything, anything. Okay. And I think the people are going to hammer down. They're going to press charges. The attorneys are out there waiting I saw an advertisement and it said, if Walmart tries to stop you and ask you for your receipt, don't show it to them and call me. These attorneys are literally looking to pick and start fights. And they're going after YouTubers as well. In addition to businesses, in addition to these news channels who are having their content manipulated and augmented through AI, but also stolen and reused without any credit, without any... Uh, financial reciprocation from these reaction channels or these news prepper channels or whatever they survivor list or whatever they want to call themselves. And they're going to be cracking down and YouTube and the advertisers are going to be cracking down. 2024, we're heading into a headwind in 2024 and everybody is going to be much tighter and more stringent on their dollars. So that means they're going to be they're going to be watching a whole lot closer than they ever have before. And if they can save money, they absolutely will. But let me tell you this. If they can recoup money, guess what? They're coming after you and they're coming after your videos, and your live streams and your shorts and your reels and your TikToks. They're coming after you. And. They'll get, they'll find out how much you made and then they'll add on top of that, their legal fees and damages and this, that, and the other, and they're going to want their pound of flesh. And then so, yeah, I just thought you guys would like to know that, especially if you're not a creator, because if you're not, and you are considering becoming one, maybe we should have a talk. Okay. But if you're not, and you're just a viewer, a subscriber that's all good that's cool but if you one day find your favorite channel gone disappeared you may know why you may know why um i've actually seen folks creating new channels for a variety of reasons but i'm not going to get into that in this video but i will say that youtube has a plan and youtube has a strategy and youtube's algorithm is set and no matter what channel you have or create, YouTube knows what it wants. And 
It knows you. It knows your face. It knows your voice. And if you think you're going to get by with no face and no voice, it knows AI and it knows how to track IP addresses. So YouTube ain't stupid. Okay. YouTube is not dumb. Much like Spotify. Spotify had to revise and revamp their whole strategy because they were losing money. And YouTube's doing the same. And every other social media platform is doing the same. And law enforcement's doing the same. And lawyers and attorneys are doing the same. And businesses are doing the same. It's all going to come crashing down. And the people out there who have seen these videos and seen these YouTubers flashing cash and doing giveaways and handing out, you know, thousands of dollars and free iPhones and iPads and, and AirBuds and things like that for their challenge videos in public at reasonable expectation of privacy. They know the money's there. They see them ride around in their Lamborghini or whatever it may be. They know the money's there. So now you're walking around with a target on your back. Good luck with that one. Hey, like I said, we have other platforms for a reason. There are links in the description down below. And uh, these platforms allow for a greater and freer expression of opinion. And uh, if you want, feel free to check it out. And until next time, see you guys. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pop.